Hello, and welcome back to the Grand Gale. So, last time we fixed our succession problem, and we are back to partition, which is pretty much the best we can get until we get to late medieval, which we're not quite at yet. This time, I think it might be time for some wars. Our character is getting a little bit old. It's time to get some wars in so that um, if we need to reset truces, our character dies, truces reset, and we can do another war. So, uh, let's have a look at some of our targets that we want to attack. Because I want to attack big targets. And really, there are three big targets I'm looking at. England, Denmark, and Sweden. Why am I looking at those three? Well, they're three very large kingdoms which are right next to us. I could also be persuaded to attack Iceland because Iceland is up here and, you know, it's kind of isolated. We could just defeat it and have it as part of our uh, nation, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm looking for a big war, so one of these three. Now, you have no ally. Also, you are absolutely massive. You don't even fit in frame. That's incredible. Uh, you have a couple of allies. You're allied to Sweden, okay, and Hungary. And in Sweden, you're allied to everybody, apparently. Oh, right, just four. Uh, so that's your own vassal. That's your own vassal. That's Denmark. And that's Varmaland, who is your own vassal. Okay, so, in terms of who I want to attack, England, Sweden, Denmark. The reason it's in that order, England, no, no ally, so probably the easiest. Sweden only has Denmark as an ally, and then Denmark has Sweden and Hungary. So, in terms of difficulty, that's the order I'm looking at. So, let's start with England. If we could get England, that would be fantastic, because, well, they're kind of just a blight on our island over here. They're, they're really just, we, we don't like it. So, let's see what we can do. So, right away, we have some de jure wars. We can siege the Duchy of Viken, which is over here, and I assume the Earldom is the same one. I assume that's the same thing. Yeah, so both of those are the same thing. I don't really want to do that. We can do Ducal Conquest of County, which would allow us to take some land down here. Again, I'm not really feeling that. Uh, Duke Marcus's claims on what? The Kingdom of England. Now, you see, this is the kind of war I can get behind. That is what I'm looking for. Um, because if we got this to trigger, then we just get England. That's great. Uh, problem is, he's already... Um, yeah, our Duke of Strathclyde, so he would get a little bit of an odd border there, but okay. His claim looks good. And then Earl Cuthred doesn't really have what we're looking for. So I'm looking for Marcus's claim on England. That looks great. Now, it would cost us 1,350 um, prestige, which is quite a lot. But we can get there. We can definitely get there. Now, there is this forced vassalization one. This one we can't do because he holds too many counties. That implies that another one we could do it to, because they don't hold too many counties. So let's have a look at our other options. So this one costs us 1,350 prestige, and we would get ourselves uh, the kingdom. Sweden! Hello. Right. So, Siege is your duchy, so we can get a duchy of Lapland, because it's part of Norway, I believe. Uh, we can siege the county. We can press this person's claim, or we can do a forced vassalization of King Cole, except that we can't because it holds too many counties to be forcefully vassalized. So we don't actually have a good war in Sweden. Sweden, right out there. Denmark. So, if I was to go for Denmark, again, can't do forced vassalization. We could siege the Duchy of Holstein because it's de jure part of the Holy Roman Empire. And we could do a ducal conquest of county to take some of... Uh, some of these ones. Again, we don't really have a great war, and they are, of course, once again, uh, too big to be forcefully vassalized. So, out of those, the England War looks best. So I think we're going to go to war with England. Uh, that means that we need 1,350 prestige. Okay, do we still have all of these ready to go? So, Cole Hunt, that is five years. Yeah, but what is five years? Five years is another four years. Okay. Exotic Feast is another two years. So I think this is basically what we're doing. We're just going to gain prestige and then we're going to go to War of England. Yeah. What's your war that you're already in? The Oh, wait a second. Defending against Duke Frank of Lothian in the Lothian claim on the Kingdom of England. Oh. So Duke Frank also has a claim on England, does he? I see. Can I join your war? 
absolutely not. It, oh, he's fighting a peasant faction as well? So if this peasant faction went away, I could then attack... Um, wait, you're not fighting a peasant fat. Oh, no, I could only offer to join if he's fighting a peasant faction. Ah, well, that's annoying. Yeah. Well, I would have loved to have pressed your claim. However, I apparently can't. So, um, yeah, we'll just uh, get our prestige. Yeah, we'll just chill and get prestige. Back to this plan. Uh, I can increase your feudal taxes. Um, oh, sorry. I can increase your feudal taxes. How much are you paying me? You're paying me low. Well, uh, I will increase your fe your feudal taxes. You can now pay me normal. Somebody's trying to kill my granddaughter. Uh, t to which I say, which one? This person would like to give me some prestige. Thank you very much for donating to the cause. Nice. Um, money's coming in fairly quickly. That's all good. Uh, yeah, this is ticking up. We've got some kind of internal civil wars in here. Uh, vassals expect council positions. Don't really worry about that one. Uh, we haven't done recruit hill specialist in a while because we're saving up our prestige. Uh, is that... F yeah, it's 12.15. Okay for that one. We're still not a year away from death uh, because we haven't got our notifier for that yet. Uh, we can vassalize... Oh! Duke uh, Bajoris of... Uh, Valetia. So that's down here, isn't it? Oh wait, no, that's up to up to top here. Hey, we can get you for free. Why? What's changed? Oh, it's probably his military strength has changed, right? Yeah, I, I reckon it's probably military strength because you can see here it's we've got twenty. Well, maybe not. I was thinking maybe they were just in a war, but actually no, they've got full levies. I don't know what it was that's done it. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Oh well. We'll take you anyway. That's fine. Why not? This is a free uh, person. Uh, we can then lawfully imprison them because they're excommunicated. That is very funny. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but that is very funny. Um, Actually, wait a second. Wait a second. You have money. Um, What's the chance? 86%. Ooh, so we could imprison him, ransom him back for money. Yes. Aha! He is now under house arrest. We will now um, ransom him back for 100 gold. Wonderful. Uh, we now have a great-granddaughter. And we have another 100 gold. Wonderful. Task finished. You finished increased count control uh, and county task in Lubeck. You were doing that? Uh, okay. Um, given we're going to lose everything that isn't our capital or Lubeck um, when we have succession, I'm not going to worry about any other control that we have here. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about any of them. Uh, so, what do we want you to be doing? Uh, I guess, you know, organized army is fine. You are going to reduce the amount that we're paying for it, which seems good. Yeah. Cool. Uh, what are you doing right now? You're promoting cultural acceptance with these guys, right? Yeah. Uh, well, we're getting there, but it's just going to take a little bit longer. Um, what we could do is we could do what we were doing last time and creating titles. Mostly we only have kingdoms left now. Yeah. I don't really want to create any kingdoms just yet. So we'll just chill on that. We are getting prestige fairly quickly. Uh, next year we can hold a feast, which will get us a little bit more, hopefully. Close that one down. We can modify contracts. Is anybody... I think they're all paying us normal, because they're all within uh, the Scotland part of our uh, empire. And we already dealt with them ages ago. Okay. Hey! We just randomly just got 150 prestige. Love it. You made somebody else like me. Cool. We'll just chill. Nothing we need to do. We might as well just gain resources for the war. So we can host an exotic feast. Uh, don't need to worry about that one. My granddaughter can marry. Okay, let's marry her off. We are looking for somebody with an inheritable trait. Matrilineal. And then we're looking for somebody with her trait, ideally, so we can rank it up. There we go. This guy. We can rank up the trait. And um, it's not inbreeding, which is fantastic. Right, let's do this one. 
Lowers our stress as well. Not that it was very high. And uh, let's go. Wonderful. They're, they're going to get married. Collateral damage. I barely manage to sit down at my seat when I hear a howl emanating from Reeve Adena. It would seem that she and Duchess Antonia have really gotten into it, as Adena is receiving a proper uh, woman handling from Antonia. Too late, I realize their martial dance has paved its way straight through the Scots uh, Gaelic jewelry casket. I motion for my guards to separate the two, hissing and clawing at each other. The duo is presented in front of me, all the while throwing blame on one another for starting the fight. Um, so you can say it wasn't my favorite piece. Is lowered the du uh, the durability. Um, I guess it's benevolent ruler. I think I'll oh, but I spend prestige for that one. I really don't want to spend prestige. I also don't want people to have a rivalry with me. Um. I'll take the prestige hit, to be honest. That's fine. We can ask our head of faith for gold. Uh, of course, I will do that. Um, the innuendo. We've had this one several times. Um, I'm just going to say never mind and take the stress for the joke missing. Thank you for the tax refund. I really appreciate it. Guests have departed, and I gained 210 prestige. Still worth it overall. And we gain the trait, famous reveler. Does that give us more prestige per month? No, but it does give us diplomacy, which in turn does give us prestige. So that kind of works. Right, more adultery is happening. My wife is dead. Oh no. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see here. So we're looking for all, all sort by prestige gain. We are going to marry Princess Yefrosnia of Galicia Volnia. Yes. That gets us some prestige. Let's go. Wonderful. So we are now uh, married. Uh, wait, is she in a war? Uh, wait. Oh. Uh, you're not... Uh, uh, okay, you actually hold a duchy within there. But you are a princess of it because you were the uh, daughter of a king. Okay, that's fine. We still got prestige for it, which was all I was really after. England. I see that you um, are winning in your war against my vassal. Well, time to lose. I'm going to press Duke Marcus's claim on England. Marcus, are you going to live till the end of this war? Looks like it. Let's go. Declare a war in England. Wonderful. Uh, and I am going to immediately ignore the English army. I'm going to raise my troops down here. And I'm just going to push my way into the uh, side of them here. Perfect. Call to war. Oh, sure. I'll join your peasant uprising. I'm definitely going to, like, 100% be right there. Um, definitely not going to just do my war. Thank you for the uh, 50 gold. And he's trying to speak in our language as well. That's fine. Cool. We'll take our 50 gold. Uh, court grandeur went up. And now we can continue going down the next tree. Um, let's go down. Uh, let's just continue going down family hierarchy for just now. I'm not too worried about it. I don't think we need anything else here. So we've taken Cheshire. Uh, can I go to their capital now? Yes, without even uh, taking attrition. Wonderful. Uh, we have a prisoner in our dungeon. He is French. Uh, I will recruit him. You, uh, We have you. Uh, I'm just going to gain a weak hook and let you go. Wonderful. Right. To their capital. We're now sieging that down. This should be fantastic. Invalidated? Oh, it's the peasant uprisings invalidated. Because our wife is dead. Oh, apparently we didn't like her and I lost my I lost some stress because of that. Um, okay, we captured a valuable hostage. I believe it was his heir that we just captured. Wonderful news. Uh, we need to get remarried. And marry for prestige gain. Fantastic. We shall marry you. Whoever you are. Right. Um, new steward needed. You seem like you'd do okay at the job. Uh, we could reassign you instead, though, because you're even better at the job. And then we need a new Chancellor. New Chancellor's going to be you, who would have been as good in either position. So that actually kind of worked out for us. Yeah, let's assign him. Wonderful. Uh, anything else in here? No, not really. We can call our allies to the war, but I'm not going to. We capture anyone else? No, literally just his heir. Wonderful. 
50 days on this siege. The lure of language. Uh, I could learn Franconian. Uh, I could hire somebody to teach me that. I could hit the books, or why bother? Yeah, sure, I'll learn Franconian. Let's see if it works. Hey, we're taking another one. Captured some prisoners. Let's head up here. And then we're getting towards their armies as well, which is going to get us the win. Uh, you, you're worth 10 gold, you're worth no gold. Alright, well, I'll get my 10 gold for you. And I will um, I'll leave you in prison for a number of years, probably. Right. We can ransom this Earl. Wait, is that the... Wait, no, you're you're the one, you're the, um, yes, yes, okay, wrong one. Uh, that guy's the heir. Th this guy is the, um, it's just some random. Okay, that's fine. Continue our siege. We've learned a language. Uh, so I could adopt the culture as well. Absolutely not. But we have now learned the high German language. We will imprison that person, whoever they are. And I will then ransom them for some money. 25 gold. Fantastic. Wonderful. And now we can march our way over here. Now that we've created our little route through their land. This should get us a lot of war score. Yeah. You're getting crushed. Um, That's fine. Yeah, courtiers can birth to a son. I think that probably means we have a grandson. Old court. Not right now. 100% war score. Um, is that because of... Okay, no particular reason. So we can probably just recruit you. Wonderful. Wait a second. Nice. My councillor died of old age. I believe it must be ex-councillor because we don't have an open council position. And we will now enforce our demands. Wonderful. This guy, we just took his kingdom and he's still like, you know what? You're all right. <laughs> Love it. Uh, we're going to disband our armies and look at that. We now have England. That is fantastic. Right. Uh, we don't even have any uh, land that we need to move around. We just have England. That works great for us. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, do we not have a... Wait, my court grandeur is below my court grandeur expectation? expectations? What? We're, in... <laughs> we're expected to have a 10? That seems a little bit unfair. Alright, I'm going to pay for more fashion, I guess. Which I guess gives us prestige per month, so I probably should have been doing this all along. Uh, sure, I'm going to pay for more fashion. Yes, that's going to cost me 50... Wait, the new set of amenities will cost 50 per month. Wait, no? Oh, all of them will cost that. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Now we are moving up to where we should be. Um, let's do this. Right, and hold court. Hero of the Frontier. Over the last few days, I've heard tale of a mighty hero of peasantry who has won the hearts and minds of the common people through incredible deeds and matchless bravery. This hero goes by the name Ross and has been defending the small folk from the Sami raiders and has now travelled the way to Kilmartin to seek an audience with me. There is no doubt that he is a great hero, however my court um, are adamant that I do not elevate a commoner beyond their station. So you can join my court. Uh, you can get a county currently held by somebody else. You should be honoured as the hero you are. Okay. Or you're an impersonal peasant. Um, I'm going to pay you 500 gold, I guess. Not sure I'm okay with that. The monster of Kintos. A haggard-looking peasant now stands before me. My oh lord, I beg for your help. A monster prowls through the taiga in Kintus, killing cattle and farmers alike. Few have seen it, but the mangled remains of its poor victims leave no, leave no doubt. It's clearly a huge wolf, as bloodthirsty as few have ever been seen. Please send your strongest hunters and save us from the voracious jaws. Here's some gold. My personal champion will go there. He could potentially kill a monster. Okay. I shall uh, fell the beast myself, or that sounds like your problem. Um, my personal champion will fell the beast. He killed it. Very well done. They're hang they're hanging us, ho hounding us. We 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 could keep order, my lord. Please, we can organize ourselves without all the death. Okay, so a peasant man from the county of Estrid 
Dalur, an area plagued by unrest held by my vassal, Princess Inga, assures me that control can be restored without undue um, bloodshed. And say, try it. Uh, you're right, what we need is excessive bloodshed. Or, here, do what you can to this. Uh, let's try it. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, that cost us a lot of money for very little gain. Okay. Um, we need to sort out our money situation now. I mean, the Pope does give us money every five years, which is very nice, and that would pay for our issues. I suspect the main problem is that we're uh, paying for men-at-arms being reinforced right now. Yes, we are, so that should go away. Uh, but I think that we might have to spend some time look, working on our income situation. Our men-at-arms have reinforced, haven't they? Yes, and we're losing nine gold per month, aren't we? Yes. Okay, well... It might be time to play Go Through the Vassals and See Who Isn't Paying Us game. Um, but uh, I don't think we're going to play that game right now because I'm going to end the episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.